So in today's video, we're checking over some Kiwi Design products they've sent out. This is for the Quest 3. Now, I just want to say a massive thank you for them sending it out. As always, this is a non-biased review. This is an honest opinion. And we're just going to basically go over the build quality, the unboxing, and so forth. So first off, we're going to start off with the head strap and get this baby unboxed. Pulling off the sleeve here. Boom. Just like that. Kiwi Designs. Very nice, simplistic box. You know, there's nothing too fancy with it. In here, oh, you get a microfiber cloth. Nice little Kiwi design microfiber cloth there then you get your little manual obviously and then the head strap itself so this is the head strap that doesn't have the battery pack this is just for the elite strap but it does have that 180 degree turn so we're going to whack this onto the quest and i can show you what it looks like from there first you want to install the nice cushion sponge at the back by just simply clicking it in just like that the thing i like about this as well is the back plate actually matches the shape of a skull so if that was on the back of the head it actually feels like it's snug around the whole top of your head instead of it being apart from the weird ones that have like it's it's not fitted properly there we go turn the light on you can actually see me so as you can see on the quest 3 i've got a battery pack one from uh our beaker we're going to take that one off simply by just pulling the sides off like most quest headsets that one's off time to put a new one on same again just simply line them up one side on and then same with the other side and there we have that that's on now i've already found one issue with the adjustable little clip here is because there is no grooves on it it's quite slippy to undo so you have to really like clench it but it does have quite a big head shape like that is by no means no one's head size that's that's huge there's no noise when you undo it but when you do it up it's got that horrible click. And when you undo it, it sounds like someone's trying to force it, if that makes sense. I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't feel like it's not coming loose. If that's locked in, that is not um, pulling out, should I say, unlike some others that I've tested where if you pull them, the mechanism just can't hold it and it like releases and goes all over the shop. The Velcro on this as well, incredibly strong don't mind the hair but you know for test purposes only okay yo that is ah okay that came off then that uh Ugh. what is it with the quest 3 that they've made this stupid eye moving bit in the bridge of the nose so oh by the way here's the 180 there you go you can have it sitting off your face Pull it down, all that jazz. You know, the standard usual with the 180 or the 90. Is that, it's not even 180, is it? It's 90. That's more of a 45, to be honest. 45 degree angle. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. A lot of them have it. Yeah, but with Quest 3, what's with this bit being so damn hard? Like, when you put it to your eye level, mine's on the minimum, quite close together sort of thing. But when it's close together, this bit pinches on the bridge of your nose. And when you move, the pain is unbearable. But anyway, I digress. I want to see how bendy we can uh, get this. I don't know the specifications of this one. If it bends and doesn't snap. I mean, that's a winner right there. Look at that. You can even twist it. Twist it. Ping straight back. You can't go wrong with something that just doesn't break. I'm quite impressed with the, the the quality of it. Of course, it's plastic. Like you can't, you know, you're not going to get metal, and it's not going to be like the hardest of the hardest plastic. But it's nice that they have also on the headrest. So with these back plates here, you can actually take them off. Their Velcro is so strong. What the hell Velcro are they using? So you can take them off, give them a wipe down, or even put different styles. So instead of it being like this weird latex like rubber, you can have more of the silicon stuff. But yeah, that right there is the head guard. Definitely worth it if you're looking in the market for a new elite strap that gives you that little rotation and also has very strong mechanism inside that you can't, that's not coming loose on your head. We'll go over the smaller things now just to round up the Quest 3. So we have a face mask here. This is a lens protector. As you can see, it's got a nice Kiwi design there. That just comes in a standard box bag, whatever. So all that does is just sits over the eyes, just like so. If you can see that there, just fits on there, just to keep your lenses from getting scratched, dusty, sweaty, whatever. You can't obviously play with it on there, so don't even try, what's the point? And uh, yeah, so that's that. Next up, what they sent out was this little package here. And inside this bag is a massive USB 3.0 to a USB-C and a nice 90 degree angle so it fits flush with your headset. And basically what this is, 
is for your PC VR or if you need a charging cable that has fast charge and a good distance on it. As you can see, this is how long it is. I don't even know the length of it. Is it 10 meters? Something like that. So starting here, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on, carrying on. Oh, here we go. And there's the end. A whopping cable. Because the thing with Kiwi Designs, what they actually make as well, is cable hooks that go into your ceiling. So if you have a PC VR or a valve that needs cables constantly plugged in, but you don't want to get tangled up in them trying to spin around. So what they make are cable hooks that you can put in your ceiling and it dangles the cable around. And I think them cable hooks also allow it to sort of be on like a, a pullback string. So if you do move, it pulls it down, but it doesn't rip it out the wall. Does that make sense? So yeah, that is their very thick cable. I believe the casings at the end are also metal, so they're not gonna get damaged. But yeah. Now before we get to the main big item, there is one last small item that they sent out. So let's check them out. And that right there is the rubber grips with handles. So they just slide on just like so very easy and they are not going anywhere. They feel comfy in the hands. I have noticed that if you do pull this too much, it will pinch your skin. So just be wary of that. But other than that, if you have them loose enough, they do not hurt at all. They feel so nice in the hands. They are made out of a silicon, but it does have a very grippy base. So when you are playing and you accidentally let go, it's not gonna go anywhere. And when you've got them in your hands, again, the grip is so nice and smooth. It doesn't disrupt any of the signals from the controllers to the headset because the infrared dots are safely showing. It does also have these nice little doors on that you can get to the battery. So you don't have to keep taking them on and off. Like some, you have to take the whole rubber like sleeve off, plug the battery in put the sleeve back on. They figured that out, made little doors. Fantastic idea. I, I definitely recommend getting some with grips. The only thing I've noticed when you have these on is you can't physically use your hands because these are just there. When you've got the ones from the original controllers, you can let them dangle and use your hands by like, you know, if you want to go through pass view and text, whatever you want to do. I mean, you can just take it on and off. But for me, these have been my daily drivers, like these little grips here, because I play a lot of like Ghost of the Ball and things like that. So it's nice to be able to just sort of throw a grenade naturally throw it you know when you get the sensation of actually letting go of something it feels like you 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 know when you've thrown it if you're holding on to the button and then you have to let go of the button it doesn't feel as natural you actually let go of the button like here compared to when you throw something and you let go of the, the controller here you're not underestimating the throw you've got the throw and you can throw your controller and it doesn't go anywhere so you know there you go. Now to the main event. This one is probably the coolest thing I've seen. So if you haven't seen the video of where I worked on another company's docking station, this is very much similar to that, but this is more user friendly, if you will. Now this does work with Quest 2s, Quest 3s, uh, Pico 4s, you know, all your headsets that take USB-C to charge. And this is their RGB charging stand. It does have nice little holders here for the controllers and the headrest here. You can also hang something on the back here if you really wanted to. But how I normally do it is with the Quest 3, I put it on the front and I actually lift up the back plate here and slide it so it's like this. So on the front bit here, you've got nice rubber so it doesn't damage any of the actual outside of your Quest. The back is plastic and all the rest of it is plastic. And then you get at the back here, the USB-C. So from the wall socket to this, that will charge the whole device here. And then what you get is this nice little rubber USB-C to USB-C. And once that's plugged into the side, you actually have the top part, which is magnetic. So you can plug that into your Quest and actually leave it in there. And as soon as you put it on this, it will connect to the, to the magnetic cable, start charging it so you know your Quest is always charged. Because I have the grips on, it is a little bit harder to get them in, but once they are in, they do sit very nicely just in there and then you can move them around if you really must. Obviously, if you don't want the controllers in there, you can just sort of push it all the way forward and it hides it a little bit. It makes it a little bit neater on the desk. You've got this RGB around the outside. There is two buttons at the bottom here. One, two, I believe one is to turn it on and the other one is to change the function. So whether it's different colors, breathing methods or whatever, that is how you control that. So yeah, it's just a nice subtle design. Very sleek, very minimalistic, sits on the desk very nicely. And it also just keeps your quest out of the way. So when it comes down to the quality of these products, they are definitely well built, well user friendly as well. Super easy to set up, super easy to use and just continue using. So that for me is a win-win. Now, obviously there are some issues and limitations, like I said, with the grips, you can't use your hands. With the head strap, it's very hard to undo if you don't have the right grip and if you've got them controllers in as well 
good luck, that's all I'm saying. Maybe just add some grooves onto that to give it a bit more grip for the fingers, I don't know. Now when it comes to the docking station, I can't fault it. I've used it for weeks now and it's charged every single time perfectly. It keeps my Quest out of the way, keeps cables free and just looks good on the desk or on a shelf, wherever you want to put it. But other than that, I will leave everything linked in the description if you want to go check prices for yourself. Because Kiwi Designs always have their deals going on or special offers, there's no point in me telling the price now because it may be different from when you actually go and check. So if you want to go check the price, they are linked in the description. But again, a massive thank you to Kiwi Designs. But that's everything that I can possibly cover myself. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to get back to you with a reasonable answer. If I can't, I know their customer service is fantastic. You can go ahead over there and ask them the questions. But other than that, remember, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.